if you find yourself on a religious road, if you find yourself on the broad path, it's not a road you want to be on. The broad road of religion is do's and don'ts and hoops to jump through and, and, and condemnation and, and shame and guilt. That's the road of religion. The road of religion. The freedom and the freed upness that God wants to bring to his kids is just, it's a, it's a I don't know, it's a lightness. I, I can't, it's just free us up from the bondage of even religion and religious things. And so, if you want to find yourself on the narrow path, that's difficult. The Bible's declared it's a difficult path, right? And few are those who find it. But that's the freeing up path. That's the path that delivers us from self. Probably our worst enemy. I mean, the enemy's, the devil's going to be the devil. He ain't changing for you. And he ain't, oh, so-and-so's having a bad day. I'm going to go easy on him. No, he's not. He's a punk. <laughs> your worst day, he's right there in your face. The world and its system and what's going on in the world is it's going to continue to be the world until the Lord rolls it up like a scroll as we're reading right there, right? But we're our worst enemy sometimes because we're either participating with the world or we're getting all this havoc from the enemy and the spiritual warfare and we're not looking to the source, to the Lord. And so the narrow path that's difficult Let's trust that God is going to grow us up from the inside out. But we always need to be reminded of the single identifying mark, right? Walking in love. It's not hard to figure out. We know what love looks like. What do you like? How do you like people to treat you? How do you like people to speak to you? How do you like people to be patient with you? How do you like people to suffer long with you? How do you like people to be kind to you? All of these things, right? Do unto others as you would have done unto yourself. And you find yourself walking in love. You don't want people cussing you out. You don't want people, you know, harming you. You don't want people bringing stuff that chaos and all of that to you. Walk in love. Okay? So get off of the broad road, that path that leads to destruction. The enemy wants to destroy us. Get on the narrow path. And you do that by opening up your heart. You do that by surrendering your life. You do that by acknowledging that Jesus died on the cross for you. And it's a personal thing. Heaven's Gate has a turnstile. Kind of like Disneyland when it used to be open. All of the rides, one at a time, right? Can't squeeze two people in, turnstile. One at a time. No grandchildren in heaven. Your parents can't believe for you. You have to receive that personally yourself. You do that by confessing with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believing in your heart that God raised Him from the dead and the Bible declares that you will be saved. So, encourage you to do that. If you're not sure, come to me later. I'll pray with you.